Look, I, I'm I'm a big fan of him as a player. Don't get me wrong. I thought he was brilliant when he was here. I, I have a big problem with the, the way the fans love him. I really do. Because, Why? Because he left Liverpool, right? And everyone's got one about you know. Listen, you can go and play for Barcelona, go and play. But the way he left Liverpool, he wanted to go and move to Arsenal. And all of a sudden, people go, oh, well, he stayed and uh, he was still brilliant and he never down tools. He, he started playing well because he wanted to leave. You know, he wanted to go to Arsenal. If, if Liverpool would have So you think he go, only yeah. started to play well yeah, because he wanted yeah. to leave? Yeah, and really? I have a big thing with that. So uh, that's what my what annoys me about the Liverpool yeah. fans. They love him. Look, I mean, Michael won't like me for saying this, but... Michael done far more for this club yeah. than what he ever did. Well, I think you're lucky for yeah. saying that. No, and, and all I, love, of, I love you for saying that. And all of a sudden now yeah. he comes out and he goes, I'm not, I'm not interested whether he celebrates or scored yeah. or not, but his antics last week when playing against Liverpool showed no respect whatsoever. I know he's a, a street footballer, if you like, uh, but I thought, for, I mean, at times he was... His behaviour towards Liverpool, the club, the fans uh, during that game showed no respect whatsoever. And he's coming on now talking about he's going to not celebrate if they score here because he's going to show his respect. Where was his respect last week? It was just non existent. Uh, for me, I have a big problem with him. Yeah. Conquer, Michael, with that? or Well, I think Robbie's right in terms of he's a street footballer. Nobody, yeah. if you're not on his team, you're not going to like him, are you? <laughs> you know, he, he'll he'll fight his granny to, to win a game. Won't but he? as a footballer, and, as a centre forward. Oh, when I, well, I don't think Robbie will disagree. When he was here, yeah. he was unbelievable. I mean, yeah. we've seen some great strikes. Torres was amazing here, obviously, before that, Robbie. Um, but this fella was absolutely exceptional. In fact, I think he was better at Liverpool than he possibly is at Barcelona. I think he was he was that good. But again, I, I agree with Robbie in that, you know, I don't buy that respect stuff, yeah. you know, in terms of I won't celebrate. I mean, yeah. I'd celebrate whatever goal I scored, yeah. you know, and I, I think people can play up to the fans um, when, they're, when they're talking. Question you know, for you, Rio. Do you sooner play against Suarez, Mane, Salah, Firmino? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I, Suarez? Played, I played against Suarez. You did? Uh, yeah. Of course and you would have done, yeah. Mane, so, uh, 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 listen, this this fellow, he's, you know, for 90 minutes, he's a nuisance. Yeah. He, he studs are going down your Achilles when you're playing a ball. He's grabbing it, grappling with you. He's moaning. He's snarling. Yeah. So he's always a problem. Yeah. Um, should, should Liverpool wind him up tonight? Because yes. of his temperament. Without, without, 100%. A shadow, without a shadow. One of Liverpool's advantages now is obviously you need to try and wind him up, try and get him booked, try and get him sent off. You don't really condone that. You don't really want to say that. But maybe that's a, an advantage Liverpool can use. But, but, but what I do is would say about him is he's, he's changed a little bit in the way he plays. He identified that obviously and v v very much obviously Messi is the, yeah. the king at this club. He's playing the sideshow role, which is commendable for any footballer to understand that and then play that role it's from being the absolute number nine at a football club before.